So, what is zinc used for? You can find zinc in your everyday life. Zinc is mainly used to add a protective layer to steel and iron to prevent corrosion. Adding a thin layer of zinc is one of the most environmentally friendly ways to stretch the lifetime of a steel product by approximately 12 times. In addition, zinc is often used in electronics and in products such as paint and batteries. In addition to the fact that zinc lengthens the lifetime of a product, zinc is also endlessly recyclable. Last but not least, zinc is also one of the necessary elements to keep you alive. Your body needs a certain amount of zinc for your body's enzymes and immune system to function properly. It's also important for your senses of taste and smell and to heal wounds. Trace amounts of zinc occur in many foods such as beef and peanuts. Nearstar is a global multi-metals business with market-leading positions in zinc and lead and growing positions in other base and precious metals. In Belgium, Nearstar operates the smelter in both Balen and Overpelt. The Balen smelter is one of the largest zinc smelters in the world. It's been in existence for over 125 years. Balen also produces valuable byproducts such as sulfuric acid and copper cement. But how is zinc produced? For starters, you can find traces of zinc just about everywhere in the crust of the earth. Five days a week, a full trainload of zinc concentrates arrives at Nearstar Balen. This train comes from the port of Antwerp, where concentrates from mines all over the world are gathered. These zinc concentrates are stored in huge concentrate sheds from where they're transported to the storage funnels via a closed conveyor belt. Besides zinc concentrate, Balen also consumes secondary zinc oxides, a recycled product from the steel industry which Nearstar produces at its site in Overpelt. Both raw materials are fed into the roaster, which is step one of the production process. Roasting is a pyrometallurgical process which takes place in a roaster, or more specifically, a fluidized bed furnace. In this roaster, concentrates are turned into calcine at a temperature of 950 degrees. Balen operates two large roasters which have the size of a large apartment. The roasting process is fully automated and is monitored and steered by operators from a control room. The second step is called leaching. This is pure chemistry. During leaching, the calcine is being dissolved in sulfuric acid. This results in an impure solution, which is intensively purified by using zinc dust. Besides zinc, this impure solution also contains valuable products like lead, gold, silver and copper. Nearstar also separates and sells these metals. As a zinc smelter, the primary focus is on processing the purified zinc solution which is then sent to electrolysis. That is step three of the production process during which the actual zinc metal is produced. Let's zoom in on the electrolysis, which is a very fascinating process. Here, pure zinc is deposited on aluminium plates using large amounts of electricity. To demonstrate the high magnetic fields, you can see that a tool like this nearly floats in the air. After some 28 hours, the cathode plates, which carry pure zinc, are lifted out of the cells and are transported to the stripping machines. These machines then literally strip off the zinc from the cathodes. After stripping, the empty cathodes are taken back to the cells and the process starts all over again. The fourth step is melting and casting. The zinc cathodes produced in Balen are transported to the plant in Overpelt. Here, the last step of the production process takes place before the final product can be delivered to customers. Zinc is remelted after adding alloy elements such as aluminium and then cast in marketable zinc blocks of 25 kilograms.
Nierstar, Balen and Overpelt have ISO management systems in place to help drive continuous improvement in their health, safety, environmental and quality performance. This ensures that any impacts of operations are identified, understood, controlled and subject to continuous monitoring and review. As an example of their environmental practices, both Balen and Overpelt operate a state-of-the-art wastewater treatment plant which extracts historically contaminated groundwater and sends it back into the production process for consumption. Afterwards, recycled water is treated and discharged into a neighbouring stream, complying with the strictest environmental standards. A dedicated workforce of operators and maintenance workers ensure a safe and stable operation 24-7. At Nearstar, safety is the number one priority. The company is committed to a safe production process. Towards zero health and safety vision is for all employees to return home safe and healthy at the end of their shift every day. Through its deep market insight and unique processing capabilities, Nearstar is positioned well for a sustainable future. The growing world needs essential metals to continue to develop, connect and improve the lives of millions. Neostar and its skilled workforce will produce it in the safest and most sustainable way.